Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. And in today's video, uh, we are going to discuss that if you are hired for automation and currently doing manual testing. So how and what to do? Okay. So before that, I want to tell you that my video on manual testing is out. And if you haven't uh, seen that, uh, just check, check that out. And the Hindi version of the same is uh, coming out very soon. And probably you are watching, you are seeing this I button. So click on that to watch uh, my manual testing video. In that single video, I have tried to cover everything like the basics. And uh, that is pretty much helpful for clearing interviews. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. So nowadays what is happening is that uh, like pure manual testing jobs are almost like close to negligible and even if there are jobs so they are not paying well okay so you have to see that in order to get a good hike so you have to learn automation testing but the problem arises that okay like you have learned automation and you are pretty confident in that in that in in that and uh, you have cleared all your rounds but after joining like your manager tells that okay you have to do manual for some time and that process is never ending so what to do like how to approach in this case so firstly i'll suggest you that like this is a kind of silver lining for you because if you are doing manual testing then um, assume that you will get at least uh, like two to three hours free time and right now i'm assuming that uh, you are currently working from home so in that what you can do uh, like pick up any side project by side project uh, i mean like make a framework from scratch and like try to automate uh, let's say flipkart or amazon okay and if you are okay with all of this try to learn javascript because like in future we are getting we are having like tools like cypress and playwright so just to like advance in your career so if you are okay, like if you are done with the automation part i'll suggest you to learn javascript so that is like that is the future because all our future applications so right now like after, they are moving towards angular and javascript okay so to automate that you must have an understanding of how javascript works and that is like that will serve as a dual advantage for you like in the understanding the development code plus uh, like doing your own automation in cypress okay so that is a good part and uh, linking this with this just like revise so probably like every one month just try to revise whatever you have learned previously because uh, i have personally seen that after like joining a new organization and clearing uh, interviews we try to like lag and have that laid back approach so that should not be there okay uh, just keep on revising i'll say monthly and uh, mm, like practice your java programs because if you are doing like currently doing manual testing then there is a possibility that uh, technically uh, you will lag behind so to overcome it at least uh, like two to uh, three program per week you should aim for them and uh, if you don't uh, practice now then you are surely going to forget all your concepts so just uh, be sharp and uh, practice so this way um, like you can keep up to date like nothing can replace the like ideal working conditions in an organization okay so <clears throat> those guys who are working in automation obviously you can't match that level because once you once you work uh, in an organization so what happen is that like right from writing code and deploying to git so there are like other task also which you understand like how the agile is working the testers are included in the sprint planning and everything that you are going to miss but still like you are uh, working in manual right so that way you have to understand that uh, okay what like i have some time so how how can i utilize it and be at the same level or at 
at the guys uh, who are doing automation and with this uh, like keep on updating yourself so let's say right now if you are comfortable uh, with java with selenium then i'll suggest you like uh, start working on the api because this is the next step i keep on repeating this uh, every in my in my every videos that uh, if you are done with this now then like keep on revising and start learning new things either api or maybe devops or ci cd part so just keep on upgrading yourself and what happen is that like right now you are 2 years of experience and uh, you have switched okay so you are in organization a but if you are doing manual and at 3 years you are still in organization a and at 4 year of experience if you are trying to switch okay if you are going to b then the expectations uh, from a 2 year um, guy maybe in automation is java selenium but at 4 year of experience everyone expect you uh, to at least uh, like learn api and infrastructure part okay so you have like if you don't upgrade yourself and uh, here at like 4 year of experience if you are still at this then like you will you will have some difficulty in switching okay and um, at the same time you will not be able to get your desired uh, like ctc okay so we have to keep everything in mind and uh, like keep on learning new stack uh, that way like uh, you will be uh, with uh, with update uh, with the same guys who are uh, doing automation okay m a n a g e r sorry for this okay so talk with your manager obviously like if you are hired for automation just uh, go to him maybe uh, like you have your yearly not yearly but uh, like monthly you should have a chat with your manager and ask him like what is the like future perspective and when are we going to start automating just uh, like discuss with him or her and after that i'm sure uh, you will get an idea that okay like what is the uh, like plan for the next 6 month and similarly you can decide that okay if uh, like if you are stagnant that uh, i have to get into automation and you don't see automation happening for next 6 months so then obviously like you have to like look out look outside the organization okay that will be my suggestion but if your manager convince you that okay in 3 months we are starting automation so believe me guys there is no better way to start automation uh, like if you are building right from the beginning like from 0 to 9 if you are uh, building something from zero then the amount of uh, knowledge that you will get like how how we are setting up the environments and everything so that will be unmatchable so try to like stick to it and see how things goes okay so that is it and also try to let let's say your manager says that okay the next automation we are doing uh, will be on api like rest api okay so try in in those 3 months try to learn api and um, like be at a level so that uh, when you start building at that time you don't have to struggle with it okay i hope uh, you got my point and um, like talking with your manager is like should be at the first obviously uh, because like if you are hired for automation then you should do automation okay now like i will not suggest you to give interviews just for the sake of switch but try to like give interviews for knowledge perspective so when you give interview that way it will show you your mirror that uh, like where you stand amongst everyone okay so what you can do is like at least uh, give interview every 3 months so that uh, you should always be job ready uh, like there is no harm in giving interviews and uh, because if you don't give interviews na you will not uh, like um, days will become to months and month will be turning into year and after 5 years like after 3 years you will feel like okay like um, tomorrow itself yesterday itself i have switched and how 3 year went i don't know so that is called comfort zone so you don't have to be um, there just like when you'll give interviews obviously like there are some interviews which you'll not be able to clear so that way uh, you will understand that okay uh, these are the things which i need to upgrade myself and it's it's best like 
everything uh, what what we have covered from 1 to 3 will be tested at 5 like in interviews so whatever you are doing correctly or incorrectly that will be reflected in the interviews so my suggestion will be even if you are not like looking for a switch just give interview that will like show you the mirror okay um, i hope uh, like if i would have been doing manual testing so these are the steps uh, i should have like i would have followed and comment down below if i have like if you have done something different okay and that's it guys hope you have a nice day